guys and happy new year welcome to another star wars galaxy of heroes video this is a roster review video and i'm totally pumped to kick off a new year with a few good videos today um first i want to show you guys something uh i just had somebody message me in my message comments here and i hope he doesn't mind this um he said are you the guy from youtube because this is the opponent i'm facing in grand arena if you are then i'm too scared to go up against you if you are not, then you should check with him. I think he may have it trademarked. I don't know exactly what that means. Um, in any case, oh, I get what he means now. Is there another person named Thunderwack? Uh, no, there's not. In any case, best of luck. Happy New Year. I said, yes, I'm the guy, YouTube. Why would you be scared to go up against me? The game is out having fun, man. I And this is, this is it, guys. I'm a normal guy just like all of you that enjoys playing the game. I want competition. I want you to try to kick the crap out of me. Because only how we're all going to get better. So come on. Face me, that's what makes it fun. I don't. I, I do not like playing against people that don't lay any defense or don't attack on offense. I want it to be a competition because I thoroughly enjoy Grand Arena, probably one of the best additions to the game. So we are going to do a roster review today, and it's going to be on Crustables. Now, I have had quite a few people subscribe to me to Patreon, and I am more than humbled by that. Honestly, you have no idea. I actually feel guilty when it happens sometimes because it's like, have I earned this? You know, I like to earn things. And Crustables has subscribed to me on Patreon, the guy that I'm doing it today. And if you do subscribe to me on Patreon, you do get moved to the top of the list. Uh, just letting you know. But if you don't, it's okay. I'm still going to do a review. Just um, uh, give me a few weeks to a month. I have quite a few to do, but that's okay because it's more content. So I'm going to type in his ally code here. And then I'm going to read the notes that he sent me. 555. I'm not going to say it out loud. search okay so now the notes they say <sighs> one already take first and fleet and squad every day so it's currently not as much of a focus two really want to do better in the sith raid excellent only reason i can do top 10 currently is because of revan good still waiting on jtr to come back consider myself small dolphin been playing for a year Trying to stay ahead of the curve with uh, Old Republic tunes and Bounty Hunter ships for possible OT Falcon. My thoughts exactly. Any advice on teams for Territory War and Grand Arena would be nice. That's all I got right now off the top of my head. Well, awesome. So I get to focus on your Sith Raid teams and uh, some Grand Arena and Territory War teams, which I think people are going to be asking a lot more about. So let's go into the... Actually, no, let's look at Fleet first because this is quick to go through. <clears throat> he has boss to seven stars and a seven star Hound's Tooth. Can I complain about anything there? <clears throat> Excuse me. No, I can't. Uh, he is the TIE Advanced 1 with Vader to Gear 12 and the TIE Silencer with Kylo Ren and Mass to Gear 12. That's the team that I run, and I can get first. So, yes, I think he's doing great. He has the Phantom, the Ghost, the Slave 1, Biggs, Imperial TIE Fighter, uh, First Order TIE Fighter. Let's check his uh, Republic ships here because some people are saying that's a meta as well with Mace Windu's ship, Ahsoka Tano. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Jedi Counselor Starfighter. You know, since he's able to take first right now, and he has a 1.9 million GP, and I have a feeling he has a very good roster for that uh, GP, I'm not going to say, oh, make sure you go farm the Clone Surgeon's Arc 170 or um, the Umbar and Starfighter because it's currently not the meta. And he needs to be focusing on things that he wants to get better at and asked about. Um, so, really can't complain about this at all he has thrown he uses tarkin <clears throat> and things are good from there so very good lineup he has the meta uh as his ships right now so now let's go into the inventory we'll take a look here <clears throat> and we have jedi knight revan with three zetas and almost maxed out i'm gonna click on him quick because i'm gonna look at his mods as well and wow he has some good mods on here he has a, a quite a few six dot mods Let's look at his speed. His speed is 293. Very, very impressive for somebody with 1.9 million GP. And let's see, 16 speed in the primary of the square, 20 speed in the primary of the diamond, 17 speed in the primary of the circle. And I'm guessing this is going to be his next mod that he takes to six dots so he can get it to 18. <clears throat> and then we'll look at, excuse me, one second. <clears throat> there, much better. Then he has a tenacity mod in the cross with plus 23 speed i'm guessing he has this in there because of the tw plus 23 speed in my opinion if you have a stat better than tenacity i don't think it's that important with revan um, he's going to be getting tenacity up at the beginning of the battle preferably i think you would have want to have offense 
think would be the best stat here but i completely understand you have 23 speed in the secondary that's why you want this on here because you know he you want him to be able to go first get a bunch of those um debuffs out there so completely understandable and then we'll look at the uh triangle 42 percent crit damage with plus 17 speed excellent excellent and you you know you look through here does he have crit chance and offense but yes <laughs> some good potency there um that's kind of what you're looking for in the secondaries as well as speed and then cool good crit chance there too as well so his revan is modded excellently um speed is very important uh, so now we'll look at bosk uh both zetas on bosk excellent uh, grandmaster yoda bastila kylo ren and mass old ben Wow, very solid squad, and he has Hermit Yoda. So let's look at some of his teams for the Sith Raid. We're going to look at Phase 1 first, which is mainly a Resistance uh, dominant phase. And let's see. Okay, so he's waiting for JTR to come back, which he says. In the meantime, you have meta teams available to get first in squad and fleet, like you said. You really need to be focusing on the Resistance Trooper and BB-8. Resistance Trooper actually is the one character I think is absolutely necessary to make these runs excellent. You can replace Scavenger Ray with 3PO or different characters at times, but Resistance Trooper is the person right now I think you should really grind down on. And then BB-8, you gotta get to 7 stars because BB-8, Resistance Trooper, those are what complete that lineup. And once you get a good Resistance lineup with JTR, you're easily going to get first score if you have a Revan team already, in my opinion, in the guild that I'm guessing you're in. So focus on getting BB-8 to 7-star as well. R2, and then, and then here's what comes next. I talked about getting the Resistance Trooper to gear 12, good mods on him. You're going to want to get some Zetas on these characters. If your main goal is the Sith Raid right now, um, you're going to want to want the Combat Analysis and Number Crunch zeta probably in this case you're going to want combat analysis they did first because he's the passive cleanser for the raid and then bb 8 rolling with the punches um very important as well so if you're if the first zeta i think you should do first you need to do jtr's leadership zeta when you get her number one most important then in my opinion it's combat analysis on r2 and then you'd want to go bb8 <clears throat> And you'd be pretty darn well set from there. And not only that, so now we're also talking about Territory War and Grand Arena. Jedi Training Ray, Resistance Trooper, um, BB-8, R2 in certain situations are great Grand Arena and Territory War teams too, especially on offense. Um, so definitely a uh, fact you want to focus on to help you in the game as well. Um, we'll look at the vets to see where they're at. I'm guessing you have them at 7 stars because you said in your notes here that you are waiting for them to return. Uh, but really, JTR, R2... BB-8 Resistance Trooper is the one character right now you can really start going after, so please start working on him. Okay, now we'll go back to all here, and yeah, man, Scion, Palpatine, wow, you, you have a great lineup. Now, let's see, your Thrawn. Very nice. Um, as you can see up here when it shows the credits, that's the amount of credits that I have. Somebody asked, how in the world do you have 41.34 million credits? I have not spent any credits in like 10 days. I actually spent 6 million yesterday getting my Wampa to level 85. And so I'm saving them because I, I like to save in this game. And ironically, in real life, I struggle saving. But in this game, I like to save. So now we're going to look at phase two of the Sith raid, which you have with Revan. Not going to come in concerned. Let's look at your Chex Mix team for phase three. So we're going to go to Rebels first. And you have CLS, perfect. Probably want to consider, you know, when you're looking at prioritization, which is what I talk about a lot in these videos, probably want to go with the resistance team first. Uh, then probably, and it, it binds all things, Zeta on CLS, not a bad Zeta to have. Let's look at your Raid Han. Do you have Raid Han? Yes. Okay. Besides your resistance characters, I think the probably one of the most important characters you should level up is Raid Han. Because of his versatility in the game not only for territory wars in grand arena can he pound through people he's great in raids and more um, and he can be part of the meta with the cls team and you definitely want to put a zeta on his shoots first i know you're you probably you have a few zetas you're going to need to use on your resistance team for phase one but even more so than commander luke skywalker definitely get uh, the shoots first zeta on raid han and get him leveled up because he is an invaluable character that's only going to help you in the game more so and he's needed for that checks mix team unless you use greedo which i will look at um and let's see do you have power oh you have chewbacca five stars excellent won't be able to use him in the heroic sith raid but a good character nonetheless 
and it doesn't look like you have pow at all which is actually okay he's not an absolutely necessary character to run checks mix i'm gonna quick go to your bounty hunters and see what you have with greedo and greedo is at seven stars so you can actually use him in a checks mix team instead of raid han uh, so definitely think about that and you'll need to use Chirut. I'll have to go back and look at your Rebels here. Do you, do you have Chirut unlocked? Or somebody that can give you Tenacity up, actually. Let's see that here. Where's your Chirut? Chirut is at 5-star. Let's see. Do you have Rex? I'm going to go look at the clones here. This is just for a Chex Mix team. You don't have Rex yet. So you need somebody that can give Tenacity up, actually. Or with Chewie can prevent all that stuff from happening. So your checks mix team is actually quite a long ways away. Um, and then let's take a look at your Death Trooper because they're going to be needed for that checks mix team as well. Death Troopers are seven stars. Okay, that's good. You actually have a decent Imperial Troopers team here for almost a two million galactic power. So to get that check, you have quite a bit to do for that checks mix team. You have Greedo, you have Death Trooper, you have CLS. That's two right there. You're going to need a person that can give offense up you know not necessary to make the run go but necessary to get a lot more damage uh, if you have anakin maybe he can come in and you can get lucky and give an offense up do you have anakin no okay so you just you know you're gonna have to replace it with some character the biggest thing is offense up there and then let's see i said cls death trooper greedo somebody that gives offense up and then somebody that can give tenacity up pretty quickly rex chirut those are the best ones uh, so you're, you're a little ways away from a good checks mix team, but what can you expect? You have a great roster with 1.9 galactic power here, 1.9 million, and you're able to get first in both squad and fleet. I mean, let's not discount that at all. You have farmed the meta. Now let's look at your Night Sisters, because they're very important for the game as well. You don't have Mother Talzin yet, um, but you do have some of the others. So Talzin is probably somebody you want to farm. Definitely want to farm to help progress in the game in Grand Arena and 3v3. I'm just looking right now. I'm just thinking about the heroic Sith raids and some teams that you can run to help there. So let's see. You have you have Palpatine. You can run that team. Really, the dominant teams are JTR, Revan, Chexmix, Chexmix, and or the Bounty Hunter team with Aura lead. You can use Night Sisters and P3 too to do massive amounts of damage. There is a team that can like solo P3 right now, but I have a feeling it'll be nerfed with 3PO and BB8. So I'm not really like telling people about that a lot and the night sisters to really do damage in phase four so your first priority for the heroic sith raid level up those resistance characters i talked about get some zetas on them then you can start working on the checks mix i would look at raid han next to get a zeta on his shoots first ability probably want to get a character that can give tenacity up first because you can make the run then and you're just not going to have offense up it won't be as good but you actually can do something you can throw hermit yoda uh while well, you're going to use him in that Jedi Revan team. Let's say you're phase three and you didn't do a battle uh, and you still have Hermit Yoda alive or something like that. You can give his master's training to Raid Han or Greedo in this case and they can do uh, pretty decent damage then as well. And the Night Sisters start working on Talzin and she'll help you complete that team as well. So now let's look at some of the teams you can use for Grand Arena and Territory War. I'm actually going to go this faction by faction because that's the easiest way to do it. And with your bounty hunters, um, Bosk, Boba, Two great characters. Um, if you have a bunch of other people, you can, oh, you have Greedo at seven star and IG88 seven star and Cad Bane and Dengar. You know those are actually decent characters. Um, Django, Embo, good characters as well. The thing with Django is it looks like you probably um, wailed on the Houndstooth to get it to seven star, and now to get Django to seven star, you're gonna have to use the node that has Houndstooth, Houndstooth as well. Um, Django. I think he's going to be better in the game at some point in time. And Bounty Hunters are the login, or the Slave One is the login character this month. I, I really think it's for the original trilogy, Falcon. I really do. Um, but you can put together a Bounty Hunter team here with Bosk Lead, Boba, IG-88, Cad Bane, Dengar. I would probably take out Cad Bane and put Greedo in instead. Uh, some people do it differently. Embo's a good character to have as well. But you have a Bounty Hunter team that you can throw in for a Grand Arena and Territory War spot. So, you know... Again, I think the most important aspect for you to farm is resistance characters right now. Uh, but you have a good bounty hunter team. Your clone troopers are nothing to call home about. But then again, they're not meta. Um, they're probably going to get reworked. And with the Clone Wars TV series, and we'll get a whole Clone Wars rework. Uh, but right now, not important. So way down on the list. Although Rex is definitely some you should go for. Because he's a great character in the game and has been for a long time. Let's look at your droids. Oh, you have Grievous to 7 stars. Nice. I think he's going to get a rework. 
um, and probably BB-8 is the next person you want to get to seven stars. Uh, L3 is great in the game, but not for where you're at right now. Um, BB-8 gets seven stars because he also fits into that resistance category. So decent with droids. Now let's look at Empire. You have Tarkin with the Zeta on him. Great. Palpatine, Vader, Thrawn, TIE Fighter Pilot, Death Trooper, Royal Guard. I actually kind of like that character. Snow Trooper, Veers, Storm Trooper. Stark is a character that I really like. In my opinion, if you're going to want to work on some Empire characters and get them ready for Territory Wars in Grand Arena, I would definitely think you should start working on Stark. A uh, great character. And uh, I'm working on Range Trooper right now because everybody in the world says it's one of the greatest characters. So um, you can choose to work on that. But I think if you're going to prioritize, Stark would, be want, be, would want to be the first person you work on. Let's look at your Ewoks for 3PO. Hey, you have five Ewoks. Um, six right now, actually. So just start farming them slowly. When you run out of energy for the day that working on those resistance characters... Um, Start farming Chief Chirpa. Start slowly farming these characters to get ready for 3PO in the future. It's not a huge priority right now because you have other things to focus on, but this is something in your free time you can go, I have a little bit of extra energy. Let's throw something into Ewoks. Okay, first order. You have Kylo Ren and Mast. You have, with a Zeta, by the way. Excellent. First order executioner, first order officer, Kylo Ren, Captain Phasma. So you have five characters right there at level 85 for first order. So you have a decent first order team you can use. Uh, probably you'd want First Order Stormtrooper to really uh, help the whole lineup out. Put that in for Captain Phasma if you're going to really want a great First Order team. But with almost 2 million galactic power, um, this is a great team the way it is for First Order. You have it, you know, good work. Uh, let's look at the Galactic Republic. Oh, not Geonosians. Oh, I guess we can skip to Geonosians. Great. They're not meta unless you use them in ships, so no big deal. Now we'll go back to Galactic Republic. And you have Grandmaster Yoda, you have General Kenobi, even though he's at six stars, great character. I'm guessing you're getting close to getting there. And everybody else is really, you know, the one character I think I would probably farm in your free time as well is Jedi Knight Anakin. I think he's going to get a rework. I think he's going to become much better, actually, just my opinion. And I, I probably want to farm him in my free time as well. He's a Skywalker, for heaven's sake. He should be more powerful in the game. Now, the Imperial Troopers we went over. Let's take a look at your Jawas non-existent and that's okay they're not important right now where you're at in the game how long you've been playing don't worry about them jedi you have jedi Knight revan you have grandmaster Yoda, you have bastley you have old obi-wan kenobi old ben with a zeta by the way i don't even have that jolie hermit yoda ezra again my favorite character well done on ezra uh then general kenobi mace windu is somebody i think will get a rework too good work you have juhani to four stars you bought that pack it looks like and I think she will be important potentially when people can farm her. Her night, your night sisters we went over. Let's look at the rest of your older public characters. I know you have these at seven star. Again, something you probably want to put towards the top of your priority list when they're farmable is Juhani, Bachelor Sean Fallen, Karth, and Candorus, because they're going to be needed for something. Otherwise, they wouldn't put them in the game this quick. Phoenix, very important faction. Speaking of which, somebody asked me if I could do a how to mod series on the Phoenix Squadron in general because they're one of the most important teams for beginner players. Definitely going to be done. That's a fabulous idea. And Phoenix is solid. You can use them. You don't have Sabine to seven stars, but that's actually okay right now. You're able to use them. You're able to form a team out of them. Very good work. Rebels, um, they're obviously fine. You know, they're not the meta right now. Like I said, I'd probably want to work on Chute if I were you, getting him to seven stars for that checks mix team. That'd be the first character I think you'd want to focus on um, to actually get star levels up there right now. So that's probably the first rebel I would work on. Uh, resistance, we looked at. Scoundrels, let's take a look at your scoundrels. Uh, you have, oh, you, you know, Mission and Zalbar are somebody I would think you'd probably want to slowly try to level up and get better because they're actually really good in scoundrel teams. Emphis Nest, you have it five stars with the Zeta. Well done. She's great at five stars even, and she can really help in Territory Wars on Grand Arena. She can knock out teams individually. And now with the Vets, which you're going to need for JTR, definitely need to get them to seven stars for that. So please get the Vets to seven stars. I know you. I think you told me you're working on that, so that's why I didn't mention it at the beginning. Um, well done with that. Separatist. Yeah, maybe they'll give Duke a rework, but really they're not meta. And you have Grievous at seven stars and Asajj at seven stars, so good work there. Sith, you have Scion, you have Palpatine, you have Vader, you have Maul, you have Nihilus. I'll probably want to start working on getting Nihilus to seven star. Um, he's a great character. 
And let's see. Yeah, otherwise, this is a solid lineup. You're working on getting Treya. That's the purpose of this video, actually. And then Smugglers, which we have. Kira, L3. Not somebody I would focus on right now. Uh, and then you have one Tuscan. That's fine. Um, so, looking at your lineup overall and some of the Territory War teams and Territory or in Grand Arena teams, the Resistance team for Heroic Sith Raid is going to help you in all factions of the game. The Rebel Squad that you can use for Shex Mix, getting them leveled up is going to help you in Territory, territory War, Grand Arena, and um, in the raids as well. Like I said, you had a good First Order team that you can throw into Territory War. You had a first good, or you had a good first Bounty Hunter team. First Bounty Hunter team. You had a good Bounty Hunter team that you can throw in there and use 3v3. Because matching up, looking at your Galactic Power right now, when you're going to match up with other teams in Grand Arena, I have a feeling you're going to be able to win a majority of the matches. Honestly, because you have all the meta characters and most powerful characters farmed and you have quite a few Zetas on them, especially with Revan. I don't see anybody you're facing unless they have a Treya that can get through them or another Revan that's going to be able to really beat you if you lay your Revan on defense, um, which I think for you would probably be the most important, keeping him on defense, because what other teams are going to get through that? You have 1.9 galactic power, 9 million galactic power with a full Revan team. So that's excellent. So... You know, just looking at, if I'm going to give this uh, roster a grade for having 1.9 million galactic power, I'm probably going to give it an A. Because of how low the galactic power is, the only reason it's not an A+, plus, maybe I give it an A-, minus. some of you in the comment section can chime in and let me know what you think as well, is because of not having JTR. But once you get JTR, man, it'd be an A+, plus and get her leveled up with that resistance team. And most of the teams that I mentioned for the Heroic Sith Raid are also very helpful in Grand Arena and Territory Wars as well. So since the game, you know, it's, you have to focus on certain things at once. Prioritization, as I say it again. Resistance. I've said it a hundred times. Get that Resistance team up there for all phases of the game. Night Sisters, work on them for all phases of the game. Great for Grand Arena and Territory War as well. Uh, then you're going to work on that Chex Mix team getting Raid Han up there because they're great as well. Um, and Chex Mix, those characters aren't just good for Phase 3, the Sith Raid. They're great for all aspects of the game. You said you're looking for Territory War and Grand Arena. Well, when I'm talking about the Heroic Sith Raid, a lot of those teams are great for those aspects as well. Probably in the Bounty Hunters, you know, you could farm uh, Embo, Django. If you wanted to run a Bounty Hunter team in Phase 3, you'd want to work on Aura. But prioritization right now, I wouldn't spend time on her. I'd work on that Chex Mix team because of their viability in other areas of the game. So that's huge. Zetas. Definitely get some Zetas on R2 and BB-8 and JTR when you get her get that leadership Zeta right away That's the most important one. Actually, it's the only necessary one in, in my opinion And then Raid Han like I said Otherwise when the older public characters come out to be farmed here farm those people as well, but you have a very solid lineup Solid solid lineup and I think probably in the future I'm going to make a video specifically on good 3v3 Grand Arena teams um, territory war teams um, but like I said the teams you need to farm for heroic Sith Raid are gonna be the teams that are gonna help you in that as well so I hope you enjoyed the video hey crustables let me know if you like this if you don't like this if you want to see something different if I didn't do a great job because I'm here to help you guys and that's what's most important so I hope you all enjoyed the video if you did please smash the subscribe button like the video click the notification bell so you can be alerted to all videos that I post also leave comments in the comment section below that is what keeps me going uh, criticism uh, you know constructive criticism what should I do better like you guys are, had me start taking notes to be able to really get this down and do it more effectively and script lines to do that better my head's kind of in the right place now I've been really busy lately and everything is fabulous um, if you're interested and definitely want to get your roster review to the top of the list think about joining patreon guys any amount helps even five dollars th that's just excellent and for those of you that do i'm very humbled and i can't appreciate it enough and like i said i kind of feel guilty about it at the same time um and what else there was one more thing i was going to say here i again i just can't thank you guys enough and otherwise have a happy new year i hope you have good new year's resolutions ready to go